Find the unit vector along the direction of the resultant of the vectors 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap and negative i cap plus j cap minus k cap. Okay, let us begin. So first what we'll do, we're going to name the two vectors as vector a and vector b. So let's represent a vector with 2i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap. And we're going to represent the vector b as negative i cap plus j cap minus k cap. Now, let's try to find out the resultant of vector a and b. Finding the resultant means simply add up the two vectors. So adding a vector a and b, so what will add up the like term, the 2i cap added to negative i cap gives us positive i cap. The negative j cap added to positive j cap, that's 0. And then we have 2k cap added to negative k cap, so that makes it positive k cap. So here we have the resultant of vector a and b, so that's given by a i cap plus k cap. So let's name it c. So let's say, let's see vector b represented by i cap plus k cap. Our goal will be to determine the unit vector in the di direction of c. That means because c is the resultant of a and b, so now unit vector in the direction of c will be all we have to do is take the vector c and divide it by its own magnitude. So that means our goal will be to find out the magnitude of c first. So let's find out the magnitude of the vector c. The magnitude of vector c will be take the square root. Underneath the square root, we have to take the sum of square. So we'll start with the coefficient of i cap, that's 1. Square is value, add it to coefficient of j cap. Now since there is no j cap, we'll simply take it as 0. Add it to the coefficient of k cap, so that's 1 as well. So we have 1 squared, and that's going to give us square root of 2. But that means we're going to take the vector i cap plus k cap, which is the resultant of vector e and b, and divide it by its magnitude, so that's square root of 2, which means that now we have 1 over square root of 2 times i cap added to 1 over square root of 2 times k cap. So this is going to be the unit vector along the direction of the resultant of the vectors a and b.